Hey guys! So I'm back with uh, kind of an exciting tutorial, I think. Um, I went on Google and just looked up some bold makeup looks and just picked one and I'm going to try to recreate it. So we'll see how good I can do or bad. I don't know. <laughs> and so just stay, t stay tuned um, because I'll show you the picture at the end and we can kind of compare it and see how close I got because to me it seems kind of like a hard look. So. I don't know we'll we'll see um, I'm just gonna get started because it might take a minute because it is a different look I'm just going in with a blue pencil to map out the first color that I'm using and yes it's going to look a little crazy because that's like this look is something that's a little different and I thought it would be kind of fun because this is the last time I'm filming in this room and I'm kind of sad about that but I just thought it would be kind of fun to do just kind of a different look you know and then blend that out with your finger to make it easier for the eyeshadow to lay on top so just blend that out real quick this one this pencil dries pretty quickly, so I have to work fast. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in with kind of a minty green shimmery color, but on top of this blue, it's going to pretty much be blue, so. And I'll list down below the products that I'm using just in case there's anything that you're like, oh, that looks neat, and you know, I didn't tell you. I will let you know down below. So we're just going to do both eyes here real quick with the blue. And I guess that looks good. <laughs> Next I'm going in with black and I'm going to map out what I'm going to do with that basically going to do a big wing and then bring it in kind of horizontally and yeah I'm, I'm doing this off of a picture I've just studied the picture so much that I can just kind of remember what all I need to do but yeah so then I'm just going to put kind of black all over just to trace that initial part out and then do the other side here and then bring it over and there it should look something like that I hope I don't know how even it is looks pretty good and then I'm just gonna fill that in really quickly with my black bean here from NYX Kind of blend that out with your finger as well. Just to get a nice even base again for the eyeshadow that we'll be laying on top. So it should look something like that. I forgot to put eyeliner down below too. So just put that on pretty thick. Now we're going to go in with our black eyeshadow and then put it all over the black base that we got. And just pack that black on, cover up all that um, crayon that we put on there, or eyeshadow smudge. I don't know what those things are called from NYX. So 
this looks crazy. I almost feel like Mimi, you know, from, um, what was it? The Drew Carey show? Is that what it was? That chick that had like the blue eyeshadows all the way up there? That's kind of what this almost reminds me of. But I guess I'll, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. It kind of, well, to me anyways, it reminds me of like an Aztec look. It's very beautiful, but I mean, it's definitely not something that you could probably wear out in public and be like, I don't know. I mean, so far this actually looks pretty cool. I would wear it maybe out clubbing or something. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the black underneath here. Okay. Should look something like that. And then here's the fun part. I'm going to use some red lip liner, and I'm going to use it to trace out um, the mask part. I think I'm just going to start at my nose. And then... Oh, kind of got a little bump there, but... It's okay. Um, over the nose. And then from, like, right above the black to your hairline. Perfect. And then just a little dip in the front here by the eyebrows. Actually, maybe it's supposed to be a little lower than that. Ooh, I think I messed up. That's okay, because we'll be putting red all over up there anyways, but I do want it to be a little bit more, a little bit more defined. So just like that. And then I'm even going to kind of fill in a little bit with this red because I'm going to be putting red eyeshadow over it and with this red lipstick or lip liner down first, it's just going to make the red a little bit more red. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just going to kind of dot that everywhere and then kind of smudge it out. Okay. And then I'm going to use a red eye shadow with kind of a fluffy brush just to make the application a little faster. And I'm just going to, well, I guess I'll just kind of swirl it, swirl it around, swirl it all over that red base that we just put down. My red doesn't look quite as red as the one in the picture. Mine's looking a little too pink. Or it is to me anyways. Um, and then it kind of fades up into like an ombre kind of effect. But I'm just going to try to mimic that with my brush. Kind of blur that line a little bit. And then, yeah, just keep packing on that red. <clears throat> and so, yeah, obviously you can't wear this look out or anything. I just thought it would be fun to, you know, try a little something different. And... I probably won't be filming for just a minute because since we're moving and stuff, it's going to take a second to get kind of settled in. And so, so yeah, I just thought I'd do something kind of fun for my little last video for a minute anyways till I get all settled and then yeah, I'll be back with some more stuff, but I don't know, this is pretty fun. I'm going to blur that line at the bottom again. Just kind of... I kind of want to put... Hers is just red, but I kind of want to put some orange in there too. I think I'm going to use um, like a fluffier brush here. Well, 
I guess this red is kind of an orangey red, but I'm going to try to dip my blush brush in there and do kind of like deepen that up a little bit more. This red actually looks really good. I might just kind of put it all over. <clears throat> I'm going to use that little fluffy brush again and go in with this one because it seems to be a little more truer to the red and not so orange I, or pink. Both these reds together actually mellow out to a pretty nice red in my opinion. Okay. So there's the eyes, now the lips is the fun part as well. I have to say, like, this is turning out pretty good. Sorry, I'm just really excited because I really wasn't sure what to expect. And so in the picture she had white lips, which I've never had before, except for the center. So I'm just going to do that really quick and then use a white eyeliner to line my lips. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with some red. I think I'm just going to use the red lip liner I used on my face. Kind of trace in the middle where I want the red. All right, so there we go. That was the look. Um, <laughs> I wish the red would turn out a little better. This girl's was just amazing. Um, <clears throat> sorry, let me find it on my phone here really quick. So let me see here if I can show you. This is her. And this is me. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it all turned out pretty good, except for the red. Hers is just so dark. I don't know if you can really see that, but see how, like, dark it is? And then it kind of ombres up on her temples. Oops. And, um, yeah, so, but that, the lips is kind of what got me, too. I thought it was really pretty, so, I don't know. That was, look, we're twins. Okay, not really. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was fun. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and, you know, hope it encourages you guys to just kind of play around with makeup, even just find a look and try to recreate it. Let your creative juices flow. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go out now and hit the town, you know, okay, not really. I'm probably just going to wash my face off, maybe take a couple pictures because this is different, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you guys very soon, and all right, that's it. Bye. <laughs>